and we're back happy cooking today here's your chef jay we're gonna make another delicious recipe since we are favoring fiber for the entire month we should actually favor fiber for our entire life because actually it helps our body so let's start with some um perfectly amounts of cabbage we're going to use this number four cone right here so this is how we're going to do the salad make sure that you put everything the core especially because this is where the enzymes are found to help you digest this part so let's take a few <clears throat> a few slices of this and then we're going to save the core for later when we change it to a different uh, to a different cone so this is what, how you want to chop it up really small. The smaller that you chop it up, the better it is. Now let's move it into the number two cone right here. And now take these delicious, fully loaded with enzymes, cores, and put them in here. A lot of times people throw them away and no wonder why they're suffering from different degenerative diseases because they're throwing away the very things that help them. Now let's use some celery. Celery is very good for selenium. It is actually loaded with sodium. It's very good for the bones. So the thing is with celery, a lot of times has that cellulose in there and it's very, very hard to, to digest. So, oh, so here we go. Look at how I'll show you in slow motion. One, two, and now as you get closer, hold on to that piece, hold on to it, and stop, and bring it right out. Okay, that is number two cone. Now we're going to use the number one cone over here to add some carrots. Carrots are loaded in beta carotene that helps you convert into vitamin A. Vitamin A is really good for the heart and... Very good also, these uh, are loaded with vitamin C as well. So let's put about two of them. This is the type of salad that you can eat for lunch, you can eat it for dinner. You've probably seen it a lot of, if you have come to my longevity cooking classes, you've probably seen it, how it works in there. And uh, now we're gonna use a little bit of a chunky method over here. This is the number three cone. So if you wanna add, say for example, some sort of sweetener, then we're gonna use apple instead. Make sure that all your apples that you buy, they are organic. So see, you can chop it up all the way to all the way to the core without worrying. In fact, you can put the seeds in there. Seeds are really good for controlling parasites. So let's use that. And now let's change it again. We're gonna use the number four cone over here. And then we're gonna add some uh, cucumber. So take a half a cucumber over here and do the slices. Very delicious, very simple. And now we're going to add as well some red cabbage to give it color. Remember that your food, the more color it is, the more phytochemicals, the more nutrients in them. Look at that. Tick, tick, tick. This is the time for you to start making more salads, more fiber in your diet at home. All the way down to, to the last little bit. Chop it up in there. And of course, now what we're going to add is... We're gonna add some lemon rind. So if you wanna add some lemon rind, use the number one cone. Now this salad in the summertime, you can use, uh, I have over here in this area, these are actually seaweed noodles. They're actually very good. So we're gonna add some seaweed noodles. And these are high in iodine, about 80% iodine. In fact, mm, they even smell like iodine. <laughs> well, they're really good for you though. Uh, let me see, let's do some, uh, some rind and by the way you can skip the uh the seaweed noodles if you can't find it you can actually use quinoa okay wow that smells so delicious all the delicious juice right from there all the way down to the pith where the most important valuable vitamin c is there uh, let's add a little bit of orange rind oranges are really good and high in fiber the only thing is when you eat it as a juice, you lose a lot of it. And as well, one of the things that I found out is that the vitamin C is not so much on the inside, the inside is the fiber, but the vitamin C is the closest to the pith. And this come out perfect. And then two. And then we're gonna mix it up. So that way you don't need to use any salad dress. And this is the best dressing in the world. So I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna chop up some mint. And I have some mint over here from my garden. This is mint and oregano in there. As I told you earlier, oregano is a nice uh, for uh, preserving the food, antibacterial, antifungal. Okay, just chop up a bit. 
and just roughly throw it in there. Make this beautiful rainbow of colors. And the mint gives it that delicious, um, very cool type of tasting. And what we're gonna do is no need to add any salt, no need to add any sugar. This is basically already loaded as it is. And so now what we do is, we're gonna take a little, a little chunk over here, and I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna try it, not on, but I'll try it myself, see how good it is. And if you wanna taste it, you're gonna have to come to one of my classes or invest in Salamaster. Let's try it. <laughs> 